Welcome back to the channel guys, or if you haven't come across the channel before, welcome to Run For Adventure. I'm Lloyd Purvis, I'm your host, and we are back with another kit review. Today, we are gonna talk running belts. Anyone who knows me, anyone that's watched our videos knows that on most of my runs, I always wear a running belt. I like to have water, whether I'm running five miles, 10 miles, 20 miles, I need to carry some water. So over the years, I've had lots and lots of different types of running belts, some good, some not so good, and some pretty terrible. We are gonna start with Run For Adventure's three top tips when it comes to choosing a comfortable, practical running belt. Tip number one is make sure when you choose a belt, it doesn't have a big plastic buckle on the front of it. Um, like the old school running belts, you know, them big plastic buckles, you clip it in, you go running, it feels okay, and as you spend more time in it, that buckle really starts to irritate. So make sure no buckle on the front. Tip number two is make sure your belt has a wide waistband. The last thing you wanna do is choose a belt with a thin, narrow band, but again, over distance, especially if you've got weight in the belt, it's gonna dig into your stomach and cause you even more discomfort. Last but not least, tip number three is try and make sure that your belt has got pockets all the way around it so you can evenly distribute the weight. Again, like them old school belts, they had one big pocket on the back, you'd fill it up with stuff and it'd be so back heavy that it would be pretty uncomfortable to run in. So make sure your belts have got pockets all the way around. So that's a bit of information about running belts and my history of running belts. The belt we're reviewing today is the Compress Sport Free Belt Pro. If you've watched any of our previous videos, you'll have seen that I've been wearing this belt for a good couple of months now, and I've used it over lots of different distances and with lots of different amounts of kit in. So let's give you a bit of information about the Freebelt Pro. The Freebelt Pro is one solid piece of material. It's a seamless construction and it is made up of Compress Sports ultralight ventilation mesh. With no adjustment, no buckles, no fastenings, the belt comes in three sizes. So it comes in an extra small, small, a medium large, and an extra large. The Free Belt Pro is full of clever tech. So it comes with Compress Sports anti-vibration technology, which basically means when it's full of kit, it doesn't move, it doesn't bounce around. The belt has storage all the way around. So you've got one large pocket on the back, and then the front and side pockets are split up with a little divider there. So you've got two pockets on the front. So three big pockets in total. The Freebelt Pro comes with a few clever little features too. So we've got this nice addition of a running number fastener. So quick release running fastener on the front, super handy. Haven't got a pin your number to your clothes. And on the back, if you're in the mountains or you use running poles, you've got a nice little pole carrier on the back of the belt too. So that is a few facts about the Freebelt Pro. Let's get stuck into this review and let's talk about the things I like first. Having had a lot of running belts over the years and having spent quite a few miles wearing this Freebelt Pro, this is definitely one of the better belts I've used over the years. Things I like about it, one, the storage space. There's loads of storage in this belt. Normally, I'll go on a shortish run and I'll carry at least 250 mil of water. I'll take my phone along just in case. Uh, this runs super, super comfy with only a small amount of kit in it, but I've also done longer runs where I've put a lot more stuff in it. And even when it's got a lot of kit in it, there's no movement, there's no bouncing. And to be honest, you almost forget you're wearing a running belt. One of the other features that I really like on this belt is this addition of your race number holders. Whenever I'm racing, I wear a belt, I carry my own water so I don't have to stop at water stops. And I hate pinning numbers to my clothing. So this kills two birds with one stone. I get to wear the belt, carry my own water, and I can also clip my running number to it. Awesome feature. The other day with MCC coming up, I thought I'd go out and do some hill reps, get some heels in my legs. So I took the belt and I took my poles just to give myself a good idea of how well this pole carrying system works. So you've got the two pole loops on the back and they've got little rubber grippers inside them pole loops. And I was really, really surprised on that run. Holds the poles in super, super tight. And it's amazing, even with the weight of the poles on the back, they don't really bounce around and they stayed in really well. I've had a few running belts very similar to the Freebelt Pro. What I like about this one is it's a bit deeper, so it's a bit wider than the others. So you've got a lot more storage space, but what's also nice is when it sits there on your midriff, 
you feel like you're getting a nice bit of support around your lower back as well, which makes it really comfortable. So that's a few of the things that I have liked about the Freebelt Pro. It hasn't all been bar cups and teddy bears, so let's talk about the things that I think could be improved. The first thing I think that could be improved slightly is the sizing. Like I said before, it comes in three sizes. I went for the medium to large, which is basically a 33 inch waist to a 39 inch waist. I'm about a 33 inch waist and to be fair, this is quite tight. So if you bought the medium large and you're a 39 inch waist, uh, good luck with that because it's not gonna fit and you're gonna struggle to breathe. So the belt definitely sizes up small so I would go up on size for sure. I think the best way to improve that would be instead of having the three sizes, extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, they should have singular sizes. So they should do an extra small, a small, a medium, a large, and an extra large. And I think that would give you a much more specific fit on the belt. There was just one small thing as well that I think could improve the belt. So with the pockets, having two on the front and one big pocket on the back, the pockets on the front are quite easy to access because you've got the attachments for the race number. So it's very easy to hold them and open the pocket. Unfortunately, the pocket on the back doesn't have anything to get hold of. So when you're trying to get something in that back pocket and find the pocket, it's quite awkward when you're moving at speed. So what can actually happen is you think you've got the pocket, you put whatever you want in the pocket and actually you're just going straight through the belt and drop it on the floor. So I think if they added just a little toggle or a little loop on this back pocket, it would make it a damn sight easier to access. As far as the belt goes, the positives have definitely outweighed the negatives. Like I said, there's them two little things that I think if they adjusted would make this an even better belt. But overall, I've been really impressed with it. So as always at Run For Adventure, we always like to score the product that we test. So let's get some scores on the board for the Compress Sport Freebelt Pro. The first thing we always score at Run For Adventure is price. The Freebelt Pro retails at £40, which I think is a little bit steep, to be honest. The belt just comes as a belt. It doesn't have a bottle with it or anything like that. So it's just the belt on its own. And for £40, that's quite a lot of money when you then got to purchase a bottle to go in the belt. I think £30, £35 would probably have been a better price. Or if it came with a bottle, no problems at £40. Number two on the list is comfort and performance. I've really enjoyed running this belt. I put a lot of miles in wearing this belt and carried lots of different amounts of kit. And I have found it super, super comfortable. I love the fact that you can get lots of kit in it. There's loads of storage. I love the way it feels. The feel of it giving you a bit of support around your lower back is really comfortable too. I personally think with them few little tweaks, especially a little loop on the back, this belt would have scored even higher on comfort and performance, but it's gonna come in strong at Run For Adventure, and we are gonna give it a big eight out of 10. Next on the list is durability. The belt is holding up really well. Compressed Sport makes some real quality kit, so it doesn't surprise me. It's really well put together. The fabrics they use in their product, really long lasting, hold up really well to mileage. So for durability, it's doing well, we put lots of miles into it, no signs of any problems at the moment, so we're gonna give it another strong eight out of 10 for durability. Last on the list, as always at Run For Adventure, is looks. I don't know how we're really gonna score the belt on looks. It's a black running belt. Um, it's not that exciting, but it's practical, it's black, it matches a lot of your kit, so it doesn't clash with anything if you wanna be color coordinated. So again, for looks, looks quite cool in the black and red and the white, um, nice and basic, but quite sleek quite stealth looking so again gonna come in strong for looks at Run For Adventure it is another 8 out of 10. So tallying all the points up for the Freebelt Pro it's scored high at Run For Adventure we have given it a really really strong 31 out of 40. Bringing this review to a quick conclusion if you're in the market for a running belt this Free belt Pro is definitely worth checking out. Yes, it is a bit on the steep side when it comes to the price, but I've got to say it's super comfortable, super versatile, and compared to a lot of the running belts I've had, this is one of the best. We've actually been so impressed with the amount of kit that you can fit in this Free belt Pro, we've come up with a game, and we are going to play the Free belt Challenge! So I hear you all shout out, what is this amazing game that Run For Adventure have come up with? What we're gonna do is we've gathered together a load of mandatory kit. So 
Mandatory kit, if you don't know, basically a lot of races that you do, you have to carry a certain amount of kit for safety. So we've gathered a load of mandatory kit, waterproof jacket, first aid kit, full blanket, telephone, buff, gloves, long sleeve base layer, and running poles. And we are gonna see how much of that kit we can fit in the Freebelt Pro. So we have come out to the beautiful Hail Towns. We've got our mandatory kit to do the Free Belt Pro Challenge. Let's see if this kit fits in this belt. So just the last few bits of mandatory kit to go in. We've got a cap and we've got a warm hat. We have the mandatory head torch, and last but not least, mobile phone. So that is all in the belt. What we're gonna do is put the poles on the back, and then we're gonna take it for a spin. So the belt is fully loaded. Now we're gonna give it the bounce test. is pretty damn impressive. Okay, we might have overpacked the belt. I think with adding the poles, it's added quite a lot of bolt and weight to the back of the pack. I've run it with the poles and the kit. There's a bit of bounce, bit of movement. Without the poles in and all that kit, no movement at all. So super super comfy performs really well even with all that kit in like i said the poles add a bit too much weight i think but still amazing how such a small belt fits in so much kit let's get back to the house okay so the game was just a bit of fun but it just shows how versatile this belt is and how much kit you can fit in it you probably wouldn't want to put that amount of kit in it and run in it, but it just shows how versatile this belt is. That is the review all wrapped up on the Freebelt Pro. We really hope you liked it, guys. We hope it was useful. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys. It really helps the channel out. Any comments, get them down below. If you've got any questions about the Freebelt Pro, get them down below. If you've run in the Freebelt Pro, what do you feel about it? Did you enjoy it? Did you find it super versatile like we did? There is a link in the description. So if you want to find out any more about the Freebelt Pro or about Compressed Sport, please click on that link below and check them out. If you do click on that subscribe guys and subscribe to the channel, don't forget to hit that little bell icon. By clicking that little bell icon, guys, it will let you know when we've uploaded new content and it will keep you up to date. We are super busy at Run For Adventure. Lots of filming, lots of editing. We're trying to bring you as much quality content as we can. We really appreciate your support, guys. People are really getting behind the channel now. Lots of questions, lots of interest. People coming up to us at races and telling us they like the channel, which means the world to us. So thanks, everybody, for your support. We will be back very soon with some more cool content on Run For Adventure, but for now guys, stay safe and keep on running.